Welcome to Horror Square. Our channel is dedicated to sharing spine-chilling and terrifying stories. All the stories presented on Horror Square are works of fiction. They are created for entertainment purposes only and should not be interpreted as real-life events or experiences. Horror Square may explore psychological themes that can evoke fear, anxiety, or discomfort. If you are sensitive to such contents, we recommend avoiding our channel or proceeding with caution to fully enjoy our contents. We encourage suspending disbelief and embracing the atmosphere of horror. Remember that the events and characters depicted are purely fictional and not intended to represent reality. We hope you enjoy our contents responsibly and in the spirit of immersive storytelling. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Horror Square. I hope you are fine and aware of our disclaimer. Today's story is Spectral Siren. In order to inform dear listener friends, if any one of you wants to share your story or any spiritual experience, then you can send it through mail. Our mail ID is horrorsquare triple five at the rate gmail.com. So, let's get started. In the enigmatic depths of the ocean's heart, where light barely dared to tread, a haunting tale whispered through the currents, a tale of the spectral siren. This ethereal underwater ghost was rumored to cast its spectral gaze upon the desolate wreckage of a ship that had surrendered to the embrace of the deep, its skeletal frame a solemn sentinel to the maritime tragedy. Legend spun like fragile threads through the watery expanse, carrying the chilling echo of a mournful melody that drifted on unseen tides, a lament that had ensnared countless souls in a watery grave. It was on a night devoid of lunar illumination when the abyss seemed to devour every ray of light that a daring cadre of intrepid deep-sea divers cast their fates upon the water's edge. Adorned in cutting-edge diving suits that whispered promises of protection against the abyssal unknown, their frames adorned with luminescent devices that cleaved the inky darkness. They descended into the abyss with hearts alight with a curiosity as fervent as it was reckless. As the divers descended further into the fathomless depths, a growing disquiet clung to the water like a veil of foreboding. The temperature dropped plunging them into an icy embrace, and the steady cadence of their breaths was accompanied by an unsettling hush that seemed to radiate from the very heart of the abyss. The water, usually a conduit for sound, now hung heavy with an unnerving silence that pressed upon them, a portentous murmur of the mysteries that lay concealed beneath the shroud of darkness. In an instant, the monotony of the abyss was shattered by an otherworldly phenomenon, the water surrounding the divers began to flicker with an eerie luminosity. It was as if the very fabric of reality was being woven anew, each shimmering strand a thread of supernatural energy, weaving a tapestry of enchantment that danced upon the currents. A haunting melody, a mournful refrain that seemed to resonate from the very depths of their souls swelled in the water around them its siren call irresistible. Like marionettes, drawn to the strings of a malevolent puppeteer, the divers found their limbs moving with a surreal autonomy. Their movements became synchronized, a haunting ballet of bodies drawn inexorably towards the spectral shipwreck. Their eyes, once brimming with curiosity and wonder, were now vacant, consumed by an enchantment that seemed to weave a web of entrancement around their consciousness. As the divers converged upon the skeletal remnants of the ship, the melody took on a sinister undertone, its ethereal beauty, veiling a predatory intent. From the depths of the shadows emerged the true form of the spectral siren, a vision that transcended the boundaries of the conceivable. Its skin, translucent as the shifting waves, clung to its form in an eerie cascade. Elongated limbs, an elegiac symphony of grace and dread, seemed to stretch and contort in a dance of the macabre. Eyes, gleaming with a predatory luminance that mirrored the stars above, fixated upon the ensnared prey with a cold hunger. This enigmatic entity was no mere phantom of the deep, 
It was a predator, a creature, born from the eternal night of the abyss. Its haunting song, a rapturous symphony of doom, was but a prelude to the malevolent dance it performed, luring the unsuspecting into its embrace, where the boundary between life and death blurred into a symphony of despair. The spectral siren, a harbinger of unfathomable depths, held dominion over the uncharted abyss where souls were ensnared in its symphony of darkness and the boundary between the realms of the living and the ethereal grew ever more tenuous. As if awoken from a nightmarish dream, the divers suddenly found themselves yanked back from the precipice of oblivion, their senses returning in a rush of stark awareness. The enchanting trance that had ensnared them, shattered like fragile glass, replaced by a surge of raw, primal panic, that surged through their veins like a torrent of adrenaline. Desperation propelled them into action, limbs thrashing against the water's resistance as they fought to break free from the mesmerizing allure of the spectral siren's haunting song. But the malevolent creature, a sentinel of doom, was swift and merciless in its pursuit. Its ethereal form, born of shadows and souls, seemed to glide effortlessly through the water, like a phantom predator, closing in with relentless determination. One of its elongated fingers, cold as death's embrace, brushed against the flesh of a diver, and the impact was chillingly instantaneous, a rush of vitality drained from the diver's body leaving behind a limp, lifeless husk that was swallowed by the inky abyss. As the number of the remaining divers dwindled, a defiant ember of hope refused to be extinguished. Fueled by a desperate determination, they activated their experimental underwater weapons, the devices, humming with energy as they unleashed pulsating beams of light. Each discharge cut through the water like a blade of defiance, striking the spectral siren's ethereal form with a searing intensity. The creature, unable to ignore the agony that raked through its being, let out an anguished screech that resonated through the watery expanse. Its ghostly form flickered, the ethereal tendrils of darkness quivering under the onslaught of the diver's assault. Yet, despite the torment, it remained unyielding, an entity born of shadows and desperation, that seemed impervious, to mere corporeal weapons. In the throes, of their final gamble, the divers, grasped at a last sliver of hope. Amid the tumultuous chaos, one of them, heart-pounding, with a cocktail of fear and determination, turned their attention, to the shipwreck's old foghorn, a relic from a bygone era. With a surge of resolve, they disabled the foghorn's ancient mechanism, causing it to unleash a deep, resonating blast that shattered the very fabric of the spectral realm. The force of the blast rippled through the water like a shockwave, and the ethereal form of the spectral siren quivered and fractured. The creature's haunting song wavered and faltered, its once potent enchantment unraveled by the reverberations of the foghorn's might. The water itself became a chaotic maelstrom of fragmented light and shattered darkness, a cataclysmic ballet of forces that collided in a symphony of dissolution. In the aftermath, the water settled into an uneasy calm, its surface disturbed only by the ripples of the recent battle. The haunting melody that had once echoed through the abyss now lay silenced, its power shattered, along with the spectral siren's ethereal form. The survivors, battered and traumatized, managed to claw their way to the surface, gasping for breath as they emerged from the depths. They returned to the world of sun and air forever, marked by the harrowing encounter with the underwater ghost and its malevolent guardian. Their minds bore the scars of the abyss and the haunting melody of the spectral siren was etched into their memories, like a ghostly echo. Though, the threat was vanquished, the chilling reminder of the ocean's depths and the horrors that could still linger beneath its waves remained a haunting presence, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity and the unyielding mysteries of the deep. 
Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to let us know how you liked today's story by leaving a comment. And if you enjoyed the story, please like and share it. Also, subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell icon next to it and turning on the notification option. But for now, goodbye, and see you in the next video, thank you take care, tata.